Om Tat Sat. My humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mayananda Ji Maharaj, to all the sages and saints of this world, and to each of you divine soul watching this satsang. So today we will be studying Sutra number 32 from the Vibhuti Pad of the Raja Yoga Sutras of Patanjali Maharaj. Commentary by my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mayananda Ji and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So let's get started. Sutra number 32, Vibhuti Pad. The sutra is Murdha Jyotishi Siddha Darshanam. Let's repeat. Murdha Jyotishi Siddha Darshanam. This means by performing Samyama, by now you know what Samyama is. It is the three parts of con- concentration, um, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi. So concentration, meditation and then getting into the Samadhi or transcendental state. So uh, we have been studying about the Samyama for a while now and this is the internal uh, aspect because the mind and intellect are not visible from the outside. So the first five parts uh, of Patanjali Maharaj are external and Samyama, um, concentration, uh, meditation and Samadhi, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi are more internal. So in this Sutra, uh, Sage Patanjali says by for performing Samyama on the light at the crown of the head. So within your head is the Sahasrara Chakra. There is a thousand petal the lotus inside and from there there is this nectar that is flowing but only for those who are deep into this yogic science who have developed it by their practice. So when a yogi performs Sayama on the light of the crown of this head, then one is able to behold the Siddhas. Siddhas are perfected beings such as exalted sages and saints and gods, astral spirits in the form of these yogis who come and help this aspirant who is advancing on the path of yoga. So the awakening of every chakra, this is the part of Kundalini, Sahasrara Yoga is the where Shiva resides and at the bottom is the Muladhara which is the base of the spine and so each of these chakras, there are seven of them, they are illuminated by practice but when this each chakra is characterized by unfoldment of spiritual consciousness which means as each chakra opens up each of the lotus blooms within each of these centers we start progressing on the spiritual path and when the sahasrara chakra which is the ultimate that's where um, the shiva lord shiva resides the sahasra chakra at the crown is awakened and when that is awakened it brings about the highest unfoldment of the spirit so that is the ultimate advancement that you can do in the kundalini practice and to illuminate your sahasrara chakra and when a yogi performs a samyama or focused concentration on the sahasrara chakra then he is able to behold the lights of the higher self the higher self is your higher consciousness and through that light he is able to advance very rapidly and by continuing samyama on this light he comes into contact with great sages and saints the perfected yogis and masters of spiritual yoga even though they are not in body form they are in spirit form and they are realized masters so they come and help this uh, soul who is working so beautifully on this path i hope you enjoyed this sutra we will be covering sutra number 33 tomorrow om tat sat